When the pandemic first hit, many of us started baking banana bread, adopting dogs, or binge watching Tiger King. But our next guest got really creative and decided to try to go on a virtual date with someone from each of the 50 states. And now with warmer weather and restrictions easing up, he's hitting the road. Joining with joining me now with details is Matt Wernick with 50 Dates, 50 States. Hi, Matt. Hi, how's it going? It's going fantastic. Okay, Matt, so this started in the beginning of the pandemic. Did you automatically decide you wanted to go big with this and find one person in each state? Like, how did this idea come to you? Yeah, you know, I mean, in the pandemic, I just knew that everything started going up virtually and everybody was staying at home and everybody was bored. And so I decided, you know, why don't I try to put a smile on people's faces and entertain people? And so that's why I did it all virtually. But then once I completed that, I knew that, you know, it had potential to do something else. And all my followers were asking me, oh, what's next? What's next? Are you going to redo it? Are you going to go internationally? Are you going to do like a Canadian version? And I was like, you know what? I, I feel like I got to go meet all these girls in person. And so I decided to hit the road. And that's what I was going to ask you. Are you going on like the first in person? So technically, it'll be a second date with the same people. Yes. Yep. Technically. Absolutely. OK, so what were the virtual dates like? Like how how many of these were you doing in a week? Yeah, so the virtual dates were super interesting. Uh, sometimes I was going on like four or five dates a night, which is like bizarre now that I think about it. Like, I mean, I'd have them for about, I'd have some that were an hour, some that were two hours. In the beginning, I was going on like five or six hour long dates virtually. And so I was only doing like one a night. Um, but then I started shortening up the times and I was going on, yeah, like three or four or five a night and just knocking them out. My weeks were just like crazy. It was nuts. Like I was working a full-time job, then I'd come home and I'd be like, all right, I gotta hurry and like get prepared for my dates and then all the different time zones and everything. Oh, it's crazy. That is insane. That is seriously yeah. insane. Okay, so all of these dates must have went pretty well. So like the virtual dates, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I feel like I really lucked out and like went 50 for 50 with like great gals and everything. Like no, nothing was ever, you know, like, weird or awkward like it was all just fun loving and, and chill that is that's uh, you got some kind of magic or some kind of luck on your side because people are like yeah if you're doing like five dates night you're like these were all good okay oh, so yeah. so now you've hit the road where are you at right now i am in uh, manhattan in new york Okay, so how are you kind of planning this out? Are you going to do like, you know, how obviously you're not doing that many dates in a short amount of time for this? Yeah, absolutely. So I left January 11th and I kind of mapped out. I, I left from Montana since that's where I'm from. And I, I went down to Wyoming, hit the whole West Coast and some of the Midwest there, then traveled south. And now I'm making my way up the uh, the East Coast. And so once I hit all this East Coast, I'll come back down and, and drop into some more of that Midwest and, and wrap back into uh, Montana there. So how about Kentucky? You you haven't stopped by, you haven't been to Kentucky yet, right? I have not. No, I was actually looking at things and I think Kentucky will probably I'm on my 27th state now. I think Kentucky will probably be like my 38th state, I'm thinking. Are you coming to Louisville for the date? I, I believe so, yes. That is awesome. Do you know what's planned yet at all or no? I don't know. I I uh I haven't like I don't schedule my dates too far in advance because since it's a big road trip there's so many things that can happen and if one thing changes early on then it's just a domino effect for the rest. And so I try to plan them about 2 weeks out and I'll coordinate with my dates then. So as for Kentucky, not sure what we're doing yet, but I'm excited yeah. for it. There's lots of fun stuff to do. And of course, with COVID stuff right now, are most of these going to be like more outdoors type stuff? Yeah, it really just depends on the areas we're in and, you know, what's open, what they plan. Like a lot, some dates are more on like the recreational side of things um, where we'll go hiking or we'll go sightseeing or we'll go take pictures at, you know, some scenic monuments or famous, um, famous play, uh, things in those places. Uh, others are more like, oh, maybe we're going to different restaurants if they're open in the downtown scene and checking out some different food and drink options. So it just really depends on the area. Absolutely. Okay. Now it looks, it seems like you're doing this for like a fun kind of adventure, but what if you catch feelings, Matt, and you fall in love? Like, I, I mean, is that, is this a possibility? I mean, I think I get asked that question a lot. And I think, you know, it, it's weird being in, in my mindset right now. I know that I have 50 girls that I have to go on a date with. So my mindset's a little different than like, I haven't framed it as all oh, like my love adventure almost or looking for love. Now, I don't want to say that if I if I meet a gal, I would just that I really connected with really well. I wouldn't just be like, no, like I, I can't or anything because I have all these other dates. But I think at the end of the day, I just want to accomplish my journey. And, you know, if 
things clicked between me and one of the dates. I mean, keep in contact and who knows what would happen down the road. That is so awesome. And if people want to keep up with all your dating adventures, where is the best place to go to follow you? Yeah, I, I, I like to tell everyone to um, head to my website at 50dates50states.com. And then from there, they can check out uh, all my other socials where it's TikTok at 50 Dates 50 States, my Facebook and YouTube at 50 Dates 50 States, and then my Instagram at Matthew Warnick. Fantastic, Matt. Thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. You have a great rest of your day.